Jill. Barry. You could have at least waited up for him, you know? Let's go. Okay, now we're just going to run ahead for a little bit. I'm just going to preemptively stop talking now because we're going to face another cutscene, so, yeah. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <gasps> Barry! Forgive... me? No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! Of me? What? Premature. No, Barry! You viral cultured freak! Viral cultured freak? Ooh, such language, Jill. Anyway, I must have the grenade launcher. Doki. Um, not really a whole lot to this except just shoot him until he stops. This isn't the uh, legit boss fight against him. No, Jill, aim at him. Oh, oh, should not have run that way. Excuse me. That's what I love about the physics in these games. You just casually push him aside. Okay. Oh, that was easy enough. Of course, I don't care who you are, a uh, headshot with <clears throat> a grenade launcher. It's gonna do some damage. 
Barry! Barry! Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. Yes. Anyway. Barry Buttons, the cuddly teddy bear. If you want to know why I call him that, you'll have to watch uh, Zero Punctuation of Resident Evil Revelations 2. Anyway. Wesker's gone to come back another day. With various different voice actors. Actually, no, um, let me think. Obviously, there's Resident Evil 1 voice actors for all these characters, and we don't really talk about them. Oh, release the lock. Yes. But yes, we don't really talk about them. Uh, Resident Evil Remake, Zero, 4, and Code Veronica all have the same Wesker voice actor, as far as I know, which is strange, because Code Veronica voice actor sounds distinctly different, by which I mean terrible. But, hey, that's just me. My personal favorite Wesker is Resident Evil 5 Wesker. The system has been activated. All personnel must immediately. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry! Okay, yes. But yeah, Resident Evil 5 Wesker is the best, because it's clear he just does not give a fuck. It's wonderful. Chris! Global saturation, Chris! Okie Now we're going to have a quick run to the save room. I said run to the save room, not past it. And yes, that voice is going to keep going on and on and on and on. Fucking deactivating and releasing all logs. Uh, you have to leave one space free. It's very important that you do that. We're going to put the shotty away, as well as the infinite ammo pistol. We won't need these. Grab the magnum. Okay, and there we go. I'm gonna grab another health item just in case. We're gonna save the game. I'm doing a lot of saving in this group of videos, but I feel it prudent. Now you have to make sure to leave at least one inventory space free. I feel like I already just said that. Did I just? I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, you do have to do that because along the way you're gonna have to pick up and insert an item, which I think is kind of bullshit, but anyway. Because there's no way you, you're going to know that you need to do that, and you can't drop items in this game, so you would just have to burn a health item, which is kind of bullshit. I put this back, and just for fun, let's grab this. Anyway, we have to go pick up Chris, and then get the royal fuck out of here. All the enemies should be gone. I say should be. I think they are. Unless you don't kill them. Maybe if you don't kill them, they're still here. I don't know if they just disappear anyway, regardless of whether or not you kill them, because I always kill them. Because I like to be cautious. Nobody ever died being too careful. Yeah, I know I already made that reference, but... Still. For England, James. Always for England, Alec. Speaking of Sean Bean, I've been watching Game of Thrones again in Season 1. Fucking Cersei Lannister. Hate her. And Catelyn Stark. Hate that bitch, too. Fucking... It's not Jon Snow's fault that he's a bastard. You know? Why would you hate him? I don't know. Jill. Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of? Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. I love the notion that Chris has been listening to this woman go on and on and on, deactivating and releasing all locks. And apparently he never tried to open his cell door, just waiting for us to come along. Lazy, stupid bastard. But anyway, Chris has never been known for his immense intelligence. I remember in Resident Evil 4, there's a... 
Come on, let's go. Yeah, in Resident Evil 4, there's like a little file thing where Ada calls Leon a genius, which I thought was funny. It's like, Leon? Seriously? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the guy, but I don't know if genius is the word I'd use to describe him. It occurs to me that there's no timer here, so I don't even know if you are on a timer. Like, I've been going at a quick enough pace, but I think it'd be more urgent than it currently is. But anyway. Just pass back through here, and at the top of the ladder, there's a great big door we have to go through. Whereupon we come to the grand finale of the game. And on easy difficulty, there's not even a boss fight. The game just ends. So, that's kind of shit. But we're playing on hard. There we go. Having a call us to say that in a while. Come on, come on, hurry! Ladies first, eh? Okie dokie. We're ignoring that, because again, we need. This is Brad. I'm running out of fuel. If there's anyone alive, contact me now or just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. And as I was saying, we need the free inventory space. Again, and really annoying that they do this. I, I, I kind of understand why, because there's a plot critical item that you need to be able to pick up. But they don't give you any warning before this, so you might have been running through and listening to that fucking voice going on and on and gathering all these characters and turns out, nope, nope, you gotta run back to the fucking save room and dump an item. Three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad! No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. God, Jill, just let me have my moments. Stop emasculating me. God, I'm a man! Nice of them to have the counter fucking going down while you're not in gameplay. Thanks, guys. Anyway, we need to be able to pick this up, which is why it does that whole bait and switch. I think you can just activate this immediately. possible for your two teammates to die here, so just be aware of that. And plus, now that he's out in the open, he has a new big move he can do where he shoulder tackles you, and that does massive fucking damage, so you don't... Wait, did I not? There you go. So you don't want to deal with that. Oh shit, he's doing it. No, he's not doing it. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh crap. Oh crap, I'm letting myself reload. Letting myself reload. I think he's gonna do it. Yeah, okay, run, 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 run. Nope, that's not it, but you should be careful anyway. Whenever he's off screen, I think I've found that's best to just run like that. Because you don't want to deal with his big fuck off shoulder tackle. So run again, just in case. We just have to hold him off for a little bit. I think I. Oh, he's doing it! There we go. I think it's interrupting. Jill, use it. Kill it, whatever it is. Anyway, I think it's based on uh, how much damage you do to him. I'm not entirely sure. But you have this event with the rocket launcher. So we're gonna equip that. I think he always blocks the first one. Oh crap! Wow, did you see?
you see the reaction on that. Okay. So. Now we're just gonna... And so it is, Resident Evil Remake is now finished. It's my personal favorite horror game of all time. Not saying much, I don't play horror games, but regardless, it is brilliant. Dripping with atmosphere. Great enemy encounters, you know? The controls are good. I know it's tank controls, but I mean, they're really, really good tank controls, and I actually think tank controls are a good thing in a lot of situations, because, you know, it lets you keep running straight when the camera changes. I imagine using the uh, 2D controls that they added in would probably be awful, but anyway, brilliant game. I always enjoy any excuse to play it again, and I hope you all enjoyed watching it. And a thank you if you stuck it out to the end. I'm just gonna see if we can skip the credits and get to my ranking. I estimated near the start of the playthrough this will probably take me six hours, so it'll be interesting to see what I get. Oh good, I can skip it. Jill, you did a fine job. Six hours twenty-five, and I got an achievement. I hope checking my achievement doesn't fuck up the recording. Hopefully it shows up. Finish the game on hard. Alright, cool. Ammo used a lot. <laughs> Creatures dispatched a lot. Oh, yes. Well, anyway, as I said all touchingly and lovingly during the credits, I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I'll be back with whatever happened, whatever I do next. So, thanks, 